Oh, okay, hello everybody. It is Super Stupidy back with some more Super Metroid Hydelius. Last episode, I achieved nothing of worth. I mean, I guess I picked up the screw attack and I unlocked the red gate in the fire unit. But, um, that was really it for meaningful progress. <laughs> uh, anyway, now we're down here in the lower portion of the fire unit. Whoa. Um, and we're gonna be making our way to the boss, whatever that is. More force damage is always good. Um, what the heck is this? A Holtz? Ow. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> really loving the weird, cramped level design that looks like it's broken and glitching out half of the time. <laughs> As usual, really appreciating the freaking cramped level design. What kind of trap is it? Oh, oh yeah, it was a trap. I should, I really should have read the room. I really should have remembered what the boss from this area might be. Um, anyway. Ow. Meow, meow. Okay, is he just gonna totally kill me right now, or what? Die, die. He keeps killing me. I forgot that I don't have reserves. Um, I still got. Okay, I'm out of super missiles now. Um. How are you supposed to easy kill this guy? I forget. Hang on, I need this stuff. Um. Okay. Well, he doesn't seem to be taking very much damage, does he? Um. So what are my options here? Okay, he seems to be. Cheating. He seems to be cheating. He's got a cool dodge move. I don't really know what's going on here. He doesn't seem to be hitting me though. Um, and he's dead. Well, that uh, didn't go too badly. Can't say I enjoyed it. <laughs> Can't say that was fun. But uh, at least it wasn't too painful, I guess, from a certain point of view. <laughs> It could have been. It could have been really annoying to have to go back uh, and grind my health up again, but uh, thankfully that didn't happen. So I'm just gonna say, not fun and move on. <laughs> and that's gonna be the end of it. Um, <laughs> whatever. Whatever. I'm low on health again. Cool. I really hate Super Metroid boss fights. Oh, look at this. The Goblet of Everlasting Life. Nice. Um, where do I go from here? What else is there? I didn't get anything from stinking killing golden trees. Oh, this is gonna be Ridley, isn't it, down here? Um, well, maybe I'll get something for killing him. Or maybe, I don't know. Keep dying, yes, keep dying. I need my health back. All right, sweeto, let's move on. Oh yeah, I don't have any. What the what? No, I forgot what this stinking guy is called. But I gotta get out of here. Oh, no. Okay. Um. No, there are more. I forgot. I keep seeing them, and I'm like, oh, it's a viola. But no, it's one of those stinking trap guys. Uh, okay. I'm falling in the lava. Uh, uh, no. <sighs> yeah. You love it when the rooms are way. Uh oh. You love it when the rooms are way more fun. Oh, uh, wait. What exactly is going on with these platforms? Oh, uh, shoot. Can I just leave and come back or something? I was gonna say, you love it when the rooms are way more fun just to completely ignore the challenge and jump through the lava than they are to actually attempt the challenge presented. Oh, it's crumble blocks. Ah. Well, this is gonna be real fun. I am already really enjoying this bit. <laughs> It's really fun, especially because the screen's stinking, shaking, like, violently, and you can't even see what you're looking at. That's what makes this the best. <laughs> That's what really makes this the best. Uh, yes. Love it. Okay. I keep hitting that stupid platform. 
Should I go left or right? I guess right has spikes on it, right? But if I keep trying to go left, and I just end up hitting my head on the platform... So, what are my options here? Uh, <laughs> yep, this is, uh, quality. This is quality. Is this cr okay, that's not crumble block, so I can kind of take my time on there if I want. Um, I hate this. So where do I go from the crumble blocks? I get- Ah! Uh, no! Oh, stinking! <laughs> I hate Super Metroid. <laughs> uh, really bring out all of Super Metroid's worst aspects. Why don't you? <laughs> Why don't you? Okay, here we go. Boom. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this game. Why does a somersault have to be just, just a little bit higher than a normal stinking jump? And why do all of the jumps just <laughs> require a somersault? <laughs> I don't understand. Could you not move the block one tile down? Could you not move it just to make it, like, not the most infuriating jump? <laughs> ah! I want to die. I mean, I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun doing this challenge over and over again. Why? 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 What am I supposed to do? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> I stinking love- Ugh, oh, just somersault- PLEASE! <laughs> uh, the cramped level design really is the best. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love the shaking screen that makes me see everything twice, and I can't- <laughs> This is, um, torture. Wait, seriously? Only one of these blocks isn't crumble? <laughs> Why are any of them crumble then? <laughs> Okay, how the heck? Oh, I can just. Okay. Oh, that's crumble. That. Oh, wait, what's going on? Okay, okay. I hate this. Okay. I just can't stinking see. Oh, how am I supposed to see what's going on? This is ridiculous. Ugh, just stinking get up. Ugh, it's so hard on the eyes. This is just like a painful experience to look at. It's so bad, dude. Okay, okay. Oh, nice. What happens when you try to cram tight platforming into a game that was never designed for tight platforming? The most fun challenge you can design, obviously. Obviously something that should definitely be in the game. <laughs> well, here's to, uh, hopefully never ever doing that again. Um, and I just don't trust this game at all. What's down here? Who knows? Okay, what the heck is this? What? Huh? The rooms in this stinking game are so big, they're like incomprehensible. At least when you first enter them. It's just like, ugh. There's so much, like what am I even supposed to make of all of this?
Like half of the rooms are just like massive and then half of them are tiny. <laughs> like <laughs> What is that up there? Yeah. Oh, another locked door. I love it. I love the locked doors. They are a lot of fun. I just stink and get through this wall. Okay. Where am I going? This room is huge. Oh, another Alcoon. He can't shoot me? Ha ha ha. Oh, I can't shoot him. Oh, no, 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 Oh. That's a super missile, right? An orange super missile? What is... What is going... <sighs> this game. Oh, no. You can't do that. Sorry. Get over. Alright, let me out. Stinking let me out. Stinking let me out. Why don't the bombs open the blocks? I have no idea. Okay, 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 okay. This is the bottom of the room. Okay, have I finally hit the bottom? What's this? Ooh, super missile. Oh, I gotta get it. Um, wah, 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 wah. Can't get it. There's no way to get it. He just put a super missile there just for fun. With no way to get it. Looks like I gotta make a tunnel down there or something. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. You're dead. Ooh, look at that. I have found it. Wait. How do you enter that room? You gotta go on the other side. Okay, no, you gotta go from up above, looks like. Ugh, great. Okay, well, I can go this way. Any more Alcoons blocking my way? What is that? Oh, hey! <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay, I'm up here again. Uh, is the door unlocked yet? door unlocked yet? No. I hate this game. Uh, now what? Am I just not... Have I not killed all the Alcoons? How am I supposed to get to that other one? How am I supposed to get over there? With, if, it, if I'm not supposed to go through the stinking door? What am I missing here? Give me my health back, I guess. <sighs> There's a missile just in this one, in this stupid rock. <sighs> There's just a stinky little missile hiding in this stupid rock. Give it to me. Hooray! One more missile to the collection. Now what do I do? <laughs> now what am I supposed to stinking do? Alright, well, looks like I'm looking up the answer because this uh, room doesn't have any clues at all. Um, but just for the record, if the answer ends up being I have to backtrack to this yellow door, I'm gonna lose my mind. Um, because I really do not want to do that, ju that, uh, long vertical shaft again. It was really not fun. <laughs> it was very bad. Um, alright, I'm looking it up. Alright, um, yeah, apparently, apparently the answer is backtrack to the yellow door, or something like that. So that's, um, great. I have no idea why anyone would willingly go backwards through this thing. 
Um, but that's great. That's great. I'm gonna save here just in case anything ridiculous happens because there's no way I'm climbing this shaft again without the space jump. Um, oh, nice. Um, and that's why. I'm not doing it again. Sorry, I'm cheating and I don't care. <laughs> If you want me to not cheat, then uh, make it so that I can actually see what's going on, and uh, I'll do it legitimately. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I don't know what the deal with this room is. Um, so I don't really know why anyone would think that that lo random locked door would open after, I guess, killing a few Alcoons in that other room. I have no idea what actually triggered the door to unlock, but this game is just swinging and missing all over the place. The level design is really atrocious. It's like some of the worst thing I've ever seen. It's so awful the way it misleads you and guides you in the wrong direction all the time while reward not rewarding you for stuff it's i mean it's honestly absurd um can i just like stinking spin i hate the way <laughs> the way there's all this random crap on the ground that keeps you from just moving around the way you want um ugh, so awkward to navigate uh, so is there any way I can get up into the top left corner there, or is that a space jump thing? So the other thing is, what exactly, wh I mean, I guess the door just unlocks randomly after some random event, right? I have no idea. I have no idea, I mean, Ridley, I guess, maybe you kill Ridley and it unlocks the door? But it's just, like, completely ridiculous that anyone... <sighs> It's just not, it's not all there. Uh, I love it when you fall out of a stinking door right into an enemy. Ah, my brain, it's dying. It's stinking dying on this game. Okay, ow, ow. Where am I going? Oh, I'm here again. Wahoo. Wahoo, I'm here again. Okay, I'm going up. I'm uh, going up. Woohoo! Lots more backtracking. And I literally obtained zero useful items, which means all of the backtracking I'm going to be doing for the foreseeable future. Did I just take more damage from going up the elevator this time? This game, dude. Um, what was I saying? Oh uh, yeah, all the backtracking for the foreseeable future is going to be exactly the same as the original go-through. <laughs>I believe they finally made it back to the yellow door. Huh, there's so much backtracking in this game that it's really as if you're playing the same game like multiple times in a row. It's like you just do the same exact thing over and over and over again. Um, what exactly am I supposed to be doing here? What the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> like, huh? I, uh. What exactly are you supposed to do to get through that room without just jumping on the spikes? Whatever, I have the space jump now, so theoretically the game should be less frustrating to move around now. Ouchie. Uh, okay. Well, that's good. That feels good. Um, now what? I have to go all the way to the other end, or, or what? I have to... What do I do now? I go... Okay, I'm gonna go to the right, go up. Never mind. I thought that was a shortcut, but it's not. It's something else. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way as far to the right as I can. Go up, up, up. 
Oh, over right. Into the back into the croc of my room. Okay, I guess I'm just getting out of here again. Alright, uh... <laughs> I love, I just love that the elevator... Oh? Uh, what? Touching the pipe kills you? That's super confusing. So I can't go up there. Wow. I mean, wow. I guess that's what do is does the damage to you when you go in the elevator. Okay, here we go. There's an actual entrance to this thing. Um, am I not supposed to touch the ground or what? Oh, it's a super missile. Well, that's useless. Um, I mean, it's obviously... Ow, not useless, but... Uh, more horizontal shine sparking. I love it. I stinking love... Uh, I, I love the horizontal shine sparking so much. I love that it just doesn't even work half the time. That the window for activation is so minuscule. Uh, but one of the things that I did learn, I think one of the reasons that I'm not getting it as much as I would normally is because you have to be facing the direction you want to shine spark, I think. Uh, so that's definitely good to know. Pretty weird, but whatever, I guess. Anyway, that was a super missile, for whatever that's worth. Um... That definitely didn't get me anything. So, what am I supposed to do with the space jump? Honestly, I'm not really stumped exactly. But, I've spent so much time in this game at this point. I think I'm just gonna look up what to do. Because I keep getting blocked by crap like this anyway. Um... So I guess that's a one-way, for some reason, of course, obviously. Why wouldn't there be? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna look up what to do next. Uh, alright, anyway. Uh, I'm having a lot of difficulty figuring out exactly where I'm supposed to go from here. It, the rest of the game looks kind of incomprehensible, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, the playthrough I was, uh, skimming... Just kind of took this time to run around the entire map and pick up a bunch of items and things. Um, so I'll probably do something like that. Um, and I guess I'm basically just collecting as much power as I can before fighting Ridley. Uh, but obviously probably there are going to be like gates and stuff too that I need to unlock. Uh, as well as the final beam upgrade because that's the last major item that I haven't collected, right? Uh... Yeah, oh wait, uh, what's... What's the one after bomb? Uh, I guess it would normal be, uh, normally be like jump ball, right? Or something? But uh, that's c all rolled into high jump in this game, so I don't really know. I don't really know I, if there's gonna be anything there. Anyway. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna head back to square one, uh, run around the map and pick up as many fun things as I can. I don't really know how much I'm gonna be able to find since the hiding places in this game are so bad. <laughs> um, but it'll be, it'll be a bit of a scavenger hunt to collect up a few things. Um, Anyway, I guess I'll head up to that warp, probably. That seems like a good idea. Is this gonna... Wait, I can't get up this way. Wait, yes, I can. Alright, well, anyway, next episode, I'll go up to that warp. We'll warp back to the surface, collect up a bunch of things, maybe, and fly around a bit. Hopefully tie up some of the loose ends that have been on my mind. Oh, we'll kill Kraid. We'll kill Kraid because apparently I was actually able to do that a long time ago. I just uh, 
didn't know where to find him because, well, you know, you know, I don't really need to explain. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so, uh, yeah, next episode, we'll have a ton of fun, I'm sure. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed From Super Stupidity. It is goodbye for now. Uh, goodbye.